All right, let's Hell get yeah. yep. started. Yep. All right, so who's going to do That's the fair. introduction this time? Who's going uh, to do the I think Nexpo should do the intro. <laughs> oh, no. All right, Nexpo, take it away. Uh. uh... <laughs> there you go. That's how That's I like doing the intro, too. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Good, good. Was that good enough? scripting the outro that I tried. Gonna have to do also. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, that'd be like 50 takes like of it. teleported. What? Yeah, that was crazy. Nice, yeah, you just like teleported through time. Hello, everybody. Me, Mudahar. Me, Caleb. And me, Nux. Yes, I introduced all of that in first person. Ladies and gentlemen, all three of us have decided to bring up Nexpo here, who decided he's going to try doing the intro. But, you know what? We took that burden off of him. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode. How's it all going? Next, but I made that up completely on there on the fly. And I'm Dude, that was so good. That. I was, that was just good. Like, that was ten out of ten, man. When I said me, Caleb, I was like, oh, fucked up. No, I'm gonna keep yeah. going. I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> I like that though. Running. Me, me, <laughs> me. You know, it's it, it, it is one of those things, dude. I had a, I had a long day yesterday, like, getting back, and then um, it is what it is. I, I Where'd you go? Fucking, I was in uh Vegas gambling. No, I'd never gamble in Vegas. What did you even do in Vegas then? I went down just to have like a little like fucking retreat, like just to stop, get away from it all, and uh, also to check out Carrot Top because he has some pretty fine ass shows out in Vegas, and it's always worth checking them out. Are you joking right now? No, I'm actually not. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. I'm the I'm the only one a ticket master that has to buy a yeah. ticket, and you can be like, "Oh my god, I'm doing a show today. I've got one person." So you went to Vegas to see a prop comic. Basically, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. There's nothing wrong with. See, people shit on Carrot Top all the time. But is he I'm still a really Carrot Top defender. He is actually still really. Jacked. Kind of, he's kind of freaky. How fucking he's like he's so jacked to where it's just <laughs> creepy, and he's less funny being that jacked. I feel like. <laughs> No, he. You don't. You don't go to a carrot top show to laugh. It's just, oh my you god! Be, you you just feel better about yourself because it's like, hey, at least I'm not him, right? Like shit. I was it's gonna worse. suggest we get him on this podcast, but no, we burned that bridge. We just did. Yeah, <laughs> witness that bridge. I dude, this week has been a bridge burning week today for, <laughs> for me. That's for sure. But before we burn about bridges, Ryan, have you burned bridges? With anybody? Uh, I have. I have burned bridges with people, yeah. Have you burned bridges with certain subjects of videos that both of us have collabed on, right? Oh, dude. Mm -hmm. If you're talking about, uh... Wait, which one? Padma or <laughs> Rebecca? <laughs> dude. No, 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 no. Rebecca's a crazy bitch. Dude, I was, uh... So this is concert going on in a few months in, uh, in Austin. It's called Austin City Limits. And I was looking at the mm -hmm. lineup today before this. And uh, one of the people on there is Youngblood. And I almost got PTSD. I was like, oh, shit. Rebecca, and I was like her boyfriend. <laughs> like, nope, I don't know about that. Oh my god, <laughs> the I wonder. Youngblood's if... fucking freaky, bro. Have y'all heard about that? The Rebecca thing? No, I, no, I have oh, no idea. So oh god. Caleb doesn't know, but dude, we're spreading her. Even knows. Nope. You got to you got to explain this. So me and uh, me and Ron have had a stalker for years, like a bad one. And basically, the stalker is kind of like a cancer, you know, like right. an infectious Tumorous. disease. Yeah, it's like it's like having the worst STD, right? Like, right. You know how they always told us back in the day, oh, if you have sex with one person, you've had sex with everyone they've ever had sex with. Mm -hmm. This is the same thing, Twitter <laughs> equivalent, right? Like, if you've never interacted with us that hard on, like, we don't interact that hard between Twitter, right? Where we're just like fucking like, like, retweet, retweet, or like, like, right. reply, nah. reply. But the moment, the moment you do that, the moment you do like more than three tweets a day. This woman named Rebecca, the stalker, envelops everyone, right? So it's like her whole idea is like these people are all pals and sick fucks, and guess what? All the everyone they've ever, ever interacted with are all pals and sick fucks. It's just like a non. It, it oh feels like God. it's a computer bot. <laughs> it feels like a computer bot doing it, but it's actually one like actual person. That is it? An, is it a woman? Yeah, it is in fact a woman. Yeah, Ryan can explain it. You made a whole video on it. Yeah, it's like. This lady makes like hundreds of accounts, and like if she gets banned on Twitter, like ten more pop up, and it's wake. It's hilarious now, I think, but back then I was like the only one getting targeted by her because because of like uh, someone posted on my subreddit about her. So she just started coming full force after me, and I was like, "What the fuck's going on?" And um, then like I would like interact with like Muda or whoever on Twitter, and then she would just spread, and then 
latch onto them. That's and then hilarious. Oh my she, god! I think she she went after like Pokemon, Pokemon, and Ricky. Yeah, like just yeah, I don't know what huh. Pokemon. Yeah. Like Ricky Berwick, all of them. Like just... hot take. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest. Hot take. Generally, I feel like I feel like women are not as good at stalking as men. How about that? Thanks. Yeah, that's a spicy take. Is this coming what from personal think? experience, wow. Caleb? <laughs> nope. Caleb's like, I have to stand up for men everywhere. We're just the better stalkers. <laughs> better at murder. Better at sexually transmitted diseases. <laughs> to be fair, you know? it's yeah. kind of messed up that there aren't... It's, to be, it's <laughs> kind of messed up the that top. there aren't more women serial killers. Like, why is it always True. guys yeah. shooting up schools? Women should... Okay, maybe not. <laughs> well, those are well, serial I killers. I don't know if that comes out to a serial yeah, killer, that's just my a friend. Mass murder. No, I would. Say, there, there's a lot of uh, those were two separate things. There's women. A lot of women who are serial killers are like nurses, and they just kill old people and stuff, and put people out of their misery, which is really interesting. And kids, they love killing kids. You know, okay. well, they bring them into the world, and they can take them out. Of it. Well, we don't have any like. Cool. Like, okay, when I think of serial killers, right, like, you go on YouTube and it's like, you type in the words John Wayne Gacy and there's like 400 yeah. fucking true Ethan crime Klein. channels. <laughs> Stop. I watched their latest podcast. I, they, they literally made a joke about how he looked like John Wayne Gacy. Bro, dude, him no, killing he people's look like careers John Wayne is not They did a whole killer. bit. They did a whole bit on it. It was funny. He Wait, looks like... They, yeah, they, they said Ethan looked like. Yeah, John they, the their guests Bobby Lee and Kalila, or whatever his his okay, yeah, partner's yeah. name is, they were watching the uh, Netflix thing and they're like, "That looks like Ethan." And then the next day they went on his podcast, <laughs> and then they edited it together and it looked really funny. It was pretty good. Well, just because Ethan's gained weight, is that why? <laughs> well, I don't know about that, but it's just because it's like a you know non-distinct <clears throat> white fella. Oh, okay. No, well, the thing with like the thing with like true crime YouTube channels, like you look up people like that, like fucking Jeffrey Dahmer and all those individuals. It's like they're the ones that get the most traction because like it's all my favorite thing on YouTube. Right? Like you look up something that like Scare Theater, you know Ryan, yeah, any true crime channel or like any like creepy channel is ever covered, right? Like or me, or, like, Jorge or something, and it'll be, like, a video we made, like, three, four years ago, and then, like, you go on to TikTok now, and it's like, did you guys just find out about oh this? Oh, my like, oh, God. Dude, don't even <laughs> get me started on this. Oh, Jesus TikTok's Christ. TikTok's wild, bro. No, no, go ahead, Ryan. Get started on it. Go, go on. Okay. Dude, like, the formula to being a scary TikToker is using that one sound, uh, at I'd have to play it, From but five it's a, Tara, Tara, will, Tara will put it yeah, up. Yeah, and then uh, for sure, she knows exactly what you mean. <laughs> and it's that it's that one. Also, the audio from like that cigarette commercial. It's like something about a cigarette, and then like goes, the song goes scary. I, I'll have to send you guys a link later. But um, yeah, you play that song, and then you go like when Muda said, like, have you guys heard of this super scary case from like. 56 years ago i know it's been covered a million times on youtube but guys this, i just found this and it's like a million likes it's like what the fuck mm -hmm. and they just talk about it for like 10 seconds have you seen the guy with the uh the mustache who's like at a really bad angle and he's like top five chills. people who have died no no not not chills he's like a like a smaller chills he's shorter he's got a big uh, mustache 2.0 no 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 it, i'm telling you he's different but he's he's the same but he's oh, wow. so funny he's how like social Damn. media go through these weird like pubescent tr trends like you have youtube like it started with people just posting random videos and it evolved to the point of like gameplay and reaction content and like you see twitch following the same exact formula just like five years behind <laughs> like mm -hmm. where it starts yeah. off with random things and then it becomes gaming and then it becomes reaction content and i feel like TikTok is doing the same thing, just much faster. The thing with TikTok is, like, I feel like you just, there's, like, no requirement to do any actual research into anything, you know? That's like, the there's beauty. just no yeah. entry for it. Because it's, like, what's funny is, like, okay, so when I go into, like, when I go into, like, fucking TikTok, and they're always talking about, like, computer, like, safety life hacks, life hacks, and then it's always, like, oh, guys, we, I was on the dark web, and I found this crazy serial killer like social media network. The dark I'm web like, oh, 4chan. Man, the only way to survive <laughs> is by using NordVPN. Like, I was on like R4 I... slash WTF. <laughs> yeah, like, I, dude, I sit down and I'm like, I feel like I make the most boring video where I'm like, this is stupid, let me debunk this shit. And then, like, you go on TikTok and it's like, the guy's just like fucking what? 10 million likes. Whoa, mm -hmm. this is real. I had one fact, <laughs> so I, I forgot the... <laughs> I, so I had one guy 
<laughs> on TikTok, right? This one, I forgot the name of it, but he like, for like a fucking month or two straight, I never responded to it, but he was always just like, he had like his TikTok open, he was just like responding to it, he was like, yeah, that Muda guy, fuck him, he doesn't know about the deep web, that has red rooms and serial killers and drug, I'm like, whoa, shit, I started beef with a TikTok bro, and I have no you've fucking idea. shit, bro. been indoctrinated by the gay liberal <clears throat> atheist agenda. I have been, yeah, the gay yeah. liberal atheist agenda. Dude, I think you should just box well, him. Uh, you should just box yeah. him. <laughs> hey, hey, here's a funny fucking story. My uh, one of the people that I work with works with another YouTuber who's a boxer, and they, and then they were like, "Hey, would you be up to, to box this guy?" And I was like, "No, he's a fucking <laughs> boxer. He would destroy me." Wait, can I you think use your long gun? Matching you? I feel like if you could use your long <laughs> yeah. gun, it would be a fair. Can play. I bring a weapon? Then yeah, fuck yeah, I'll box him. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. They actually wanted you to box against a YouTuber? Yeah, Tony Jeffries. Has, like... Tony Jeffries. He's a, he's a really, he makes great videos. Um, and we have like a mutual friend who who was like, would you be interested in boxing? And I was like, bro, <laughs> n no. I would not be interested in boxing a boxer. I feel like you could take him. I feel like you could take him, dude. No way. He's fucking, he's jacked and he's a boxer. So you're fucking Jack too. I could box anyone out on the street guaranteed and beat the shit out of them, but anyone who's actually been boxing, there's no chance. I love yeah. this fucking con when I feel that. go out on the street and beat the shit <laughs> yeah, out of yeah, there, there's, <laughs> hey, there's an old guy down the street who's got one arm a little smaller than his other arm. I could beat the fuck out of that guy. <laughs> Yo, I feel like that would be a All great bit like... for the podcast. It's just following Caleb around outside, beating up old people. Caleb outside, beating crippled old people. Like, just to go. He mows his lawn real funny, too. Well, he's but... got one fucking weak arm when you want him to do. Like, Caleb goes after guys who had strokes within the last yeah. 10 years. His hand looks like a claw machine on the left. All right, so these poor guys watch the podcast and cry. I, he's really old. Like, I think it's just normal. I'm not sure it's like a disability. I think he's just so old. He's like melting and gravity has just become I mean, like a, be fair, the, the number the one bane in his life. The reason why people like their skin sags is because they're being slowly pulled towards the underworld. This is a known fact. That is true. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Stop Same making fat people. Stop <laughs> making them feel Get the fuck. It's so fucking mean. These are such assholes to old Speaking people. Speaking of fat people, Muda, Dude, what's I love your old thoughts people. on uh, landlords? <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> uh, so, well, I, I feel like I'm breaking a ceasefire agreement that I had with Muda <laughs> from the DM, but I don't care, bro. It's, it's Israel and Palestine do it all the time, so let's They're get into it. Anyway, so, and no Mickey Mouse so, involved to be fair, this time. <laughs> No far <laughs> Well, so here's here's the thing, okay? So I was in Vegas on the weekend. We were doing like you know some good time. I was I was have and this was the day we were flying back, right? So like it was it was just like we'll go to the mall. Like I was at a fashion mall, right? And I was just like, let me get some coffee and I'll sit down. So as I get my coffee, I do the normal unhealthy thing and I open up Twitter, and it's the first post I see is Boogie's post, right? Where it's just like. It's something about, like, Twitch streamers, right? Like, oh, they barely do any fucking work at all. Which, I think most don't do that much work at all. Let's be honest here. Most don't do. Like, uh, half the time I'm watching Twitch, it's a YouTube video, and the fucking camera is like this, okay? That's, yeah. Yeah, so that's 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 roughly the Twitch thing. Like cool Hassan yeah. you just did. <laughs> Thanks, man. I'm getting good at it. But, but, like... And then he's like, landlord, hold my fucking beer, right? And then... So... Before we continue, I just want to start saying I'm not like my, my primary business is not being a landlord, but I've always talked about like smart money investments, right? At least things that I do, because, you know, a lot of people take their money and they throw it into a savings account and they call it a day, right? Which is one of the dumbest fucking things you can do. You know, the reason why people buy land or property or invest their money is that they all know that their current business is not sustainable forever, right? Like, you can't, you, not everyone is The Simpsons on YouTube, and not everyone, like, can have the same business for, you know, years on end. It's not normal, right? So you always take your money, and you invest it smart, and you build it, you know, for, for the future. I literally said it was a smart investment. And then the whole morality argument, he started quote-tweeting me and everything, which, at that point, I was like, okay, well, what the fuck? I was like, all right. I'm not doing anything. I'm, I'm stuck in Las Vegas, so I might as well just fucking draw some blood today. So I decided to push back, and I was like, all right, let me have this discussion. Sometime later, 
when I stopped using Twitter, my phone started buzzing like crazy. I'm like, oh boy, <laughs> the hornet's nest is ringing. I open it, and then I find that, like, he makes this one tweet to, like, fucking just somebody. And he's like, well, Mooter decided to go full bootlicking mode. And I was like, <laughs> oh my god. Are you my fu- are you fucking calling me a fucking bootlicker on the on the? Oh and then God. I looked at that Total tweet. Like, I like I looked at that tweet. I'm like, you wrote the words Muda and not you didn't even tag me. I'm like, oh man, you should have tagged me. And my notifications are already filled up. I, I don't fucking mind an extra little bubble. Let's go. So then I made that like retweet where I I got I got angry. I was like, dude, what the fuck do you think? You called me a bootlicker. And then I'm like, all right, this is why nobody respects you. Go fuck yourself. Two fingers in the air. Ha ha. Like, you know, fuck you. Stupid opinion. All right. Like, there you go. Stop fence and all that shit. And then the response was, oh, I said lol. So that means it's okay. And then I'm like, what kind of a fucking response is that? What am I? Do I just sit there? I'm like, ha ha. You're fat and you're going to die early. Lol. Oh, wait, it's a joke. Cause I wrote the word lol. Ha ha ha. See, get that funny bit. I'm like, what the fuck? You immediately insult me instead of making a point back. And then you type in the words LOL, like, dog, is this South Park? Am I in a fucking episode of South Park? Like, what's going on? But, you know, it is what it is. Like, after that, like, it was a whole day of just tweets, tweets, tweets. And it was, like, one point where, like, he made a YouTube video. Not YouTube, but, like, he made a t- Twitter video, right? Oh, where it was just, like, video. fucking... Yeah, so the Twitter video, it was, like, fuck him, right? Like, that's what the little line was. And it was, like, you know, I've come to learn there is a personal growth, right? Like... I'm just going to say fuck them to people that don't like me. Like, Ethan Klein, Muda, don't like me, right? Like, fuck them. And I was like, that's a normal adult response. You know, have a little bit of a pushback and then immediately say fuck them, you know? Mm -hmm. We're friends. We all have disagreements, okay? Like, I'm sure a lot of us are, like, politically, like, different leaning. Like, we all have, like, different belief sets, right? Because that's what human beings are. But it doesn't mean, like, like, I'm going to be like, fuck you, Caleb. I'm not going to talk to you forever. I respect women. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I just got what you said. I literally had to look down. I was like, wait, wait. Muda, next call, and I. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> no! It was so naturally. I regular. also respect women. <laughs> <sighs> but it's like, we don't have a disagreement to say, like, fuck it, we'll lol. leave and all that. And then, you know, that all started. That all, Yeah, lol. That all started. That all happened. And then he made, like, a YouTube video yesterday where... The whole thing was like, I don't hate all landlords. You fuck the Arkansas one, and he starts listing like laws and everything about like how bad a landlord there in his state can be. And I was just like, it's not like that fucking deep, okay? Like, it's not deep to the point where you have to like crawl into like actual personal insults and write the words lol. Like, it's a fuck. Like, it, it feels like when you're on Twitter and like 99% of the people are like fucking high schoolers, you know? Like, why is it that I'm 27 fucking years old and I feel like I'm older than 90% of the fucking people to be fair, on this you probably platform? Are. Like at least mentally. Yeah, that's true. I feel like I, like and that's not I don't I don't even want to say like that's pretentious. Like I feel like all of us are just older. Like fucking personal backhanded clicky insults, you know, you go into a Discord and then there's like entire Discord groups that are fighting with other sets of like Dude, it shouldn't be this fucking stupid and deep, all right? You made a dumb take, all right? I pushed back on it. I gave my counter to it. You didn't mm-hmm. give a counter. You were just like, yeah, let me just throw a backhanded personal insult. And then you're going to write the words lol, and I'm supposed to just be like, oh, I get it. You were making a joke, but, you know, the sense of humor obviously isn't there, so haha, it fell on deaf ears. <laughs> like, imagine. Imagine if, like, Ice tweeted back. I'm like, haha, fatty, McFat, fat, <laughs> lol. Would that have been a so. joke? No, yeah. I would have had it. I would have liked it. <laughs> I would have retweeted that, bro. Yeah. What, what, if, what, if I, what if I was like, oh shit, boys, TLC 600 pound life is fucking attacking me. What do I do? At a lol. Like, my, big plan, <laughs> my big plan for like a... I've just been thinking about this a lot, too. And I feel like this response solves a lot of problems in general. So like, if, if I ever get just harangued by someone on the internet and they're just coming at me... I'm just mm-hmm. gonna just post a video response of just me jacking off. Bro, that's huge. You're just gonna send him like a video of you getting yeah. off? Just jack no no, not even like not even like, you know, the final part of it. Just jacking off though. Naked. That Wouldn't would that be, be weird? I feel like people like whoever's arguing at you, they would just they would probably block you for one, honestly. But it's just yeah. the ultimate 
checkmate to any situation. See, if you I, really when think I about like it. got into my drama, I had to post a whole apology video because my VTuber doesn't come with genitals. How would Not you even had like a run? VTuber model and you would just post a video of you jacking them off. No, I would have posted a video of Caleb jacking off for me. <laughs> well, that would have been weird. Ryan, have, have you ever beefed with somebody in the, in the, in the horror no. space? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Well, it was like it was like when I was no small, but we 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 hashed it out. It was it was all good. It was the night mind thing. How do you have? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like how do you? I was like, how the fuck do you beef in the horse? Dude, you know, it's like fucking beefing and like the. Dude, it's like cake. every community, bro. You know, it's got to be guys... beef. I mean, we we we, we kind of say that, but we just had TV review communities fucking beef. True. Yeah. Each other, so. I mean, I feel like I mean, that's anything. Oh god. <laughs> TV. I, I don't know if I've ever told this story on the podcast. Um, right when I was starting off, I was, like, making anime videos. And I started a series based off, like, Screen Junkies Honest Trailers called Honest Anime Trailers. Like, I would do the same shtick as them just for anime specifically. And there was another channel that started doing that as well. Uh, and theirs, their videos, like, got into the algorithm and blew up right away. And Screen Junkies sued them for using Honest Anime Trailers. And that channel ended up getting, like, nuked off the mat. Like, it got the... I don't remember what it was called. It was called, like, Anime Paradise or something. And it's gone. Like, bye-bye. Whole channel. Rip. And <laughs> I... I was they terrified. Just, like... <laughs> I was, like, terrified. Jesus uh, Christ. Like, I changed the... Wait. Who's... Who's Honest... Honest Trailers uh, is, like, so Smosh, So, before right? Smosh started working with Honest Trailers, they were screen junkies. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. So... That is so, that is the most, that is like, that is like, fuck, that reminds me of the, um, you know when they had like the, who's the, who the fuck are the two guys? Dude, the guy, like, the reaction, right and the fine bros, the fine bros, they tried to the copyright the fine react bros. to yeah. something. Oh <laughs> <laughs> it, it was pretty what the equivalent, fuck? except this was like so quiet because like no one knows, like it was too, it was, they were a small mm. channel, the honest anime trailer guys, and they got nuked, yeah. and I was terrified because I was doing the same thing. <laughs> Dude, I still don't understand the thought it, process it behind of... the whole like React world thing. Like, they so how yeah. how the fuck did that work? Like, they 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 monetize every video with the word React in it. Was that how it went, or something like that? Uh, I think they wanted to. Like, they tried to file a copyright yeah. for React. What they the tried, fuck? Yeah, yeah. 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 They, they, like a trademark for that word Not specifically in huge... use of entertainment, which is just so weird, dude. That, that's like me copywriting disturbing. Like, if anyone uses that word. Oh, dude, money's going to me. Like, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense yeah. at all. I don't In understand. What world is I mean, that a good idea? I, I don't understand how they could have ever even done it. I've like, yeah. I have two words or two a phrase and a word trademarked, and it's so difficult. There's like a lottery system, yeah. especially when it's in like uh, stuff you sell. I can't even imagine how complicated it is for entertainment. You have to have like ends with the government to be able to get stuff that's so just generic, uh, uh, trademarked and. And word marked. What if it's like Christine Chan who like once trademark like copyrighted okay, the word Sonic word. you? And the electric hedgehog Pokemon. Oh well yeah. Yeah, that'd be easy to copyright. Yeah. I was just, it's like well it's it's weird to me sometimes where it's like I think copyright law, well A it's also really archaic, but sometimes it's done at like different governmental levels where like sometimes like a state government may choose to pass like a trademark or copyright thing, but like the actual copyright holder or somebody that's also trademarked it could be like, uh, now we're just suing that person and you, the state, for making a fuck up. I don't know. I feel like that's why there's so much red tape around it. Again, the word react, I have no idea how they, they did it. it. Didn't. You are right. They probably they tried. But... I don't think they did do it. They no. just tried. Oh, they mm -hmm. attempt. Oh, that and was like, the they, whole, like, back. They made a whole video, like, hyping it up. You know how, like, YouTubers are hyping up, <laughs> or streamers hype up switching from Twitch to YouTube or whatever? They get, like, this whole yeah. cinematic. They were like, great news, guys. We are copywriting reaction content. It'll all be ours soon. We want to grow the React <laughs> Empire even bigger, baby. And everyone's like, what? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of those, uh, a lot of those like cinematic videos, like I don't, I love the creators that got like those fucking multi-million dollar deals, and they, yeah, a lot of those videos, I'm sure, like come from like YouTube is like oh, you yeah. must participate, and we're not doing rewind anymore, so we gotta <sighs> export cringe somehow I mean, from the fucking fair, factory. Like, Let's get into why it. Why would any creator be that excited to announce switching platforms? They're making millions, right? But uh, that's it. Yeah. Like, th there's no difference to them whether they're streaming on YouTube or on Twitch. 
Well, I can't wait for when a YouTube streamer is like, all right, guys, I'm switching to Pornhub Live. <laughs> yeah. I'm switching to Daily Motion. They can't even link it without getting a community <laughs> guideline strike. No, the trick is you have to link a tweet that links to the... Yeah, 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 Pornhub. that's the trick. Yeah. Yeah. Link, link a tweet yeah, to... to the United States Postal Service to an address yes. to a P.O. box. True story. You're doing, like, proxy avoiding <laughs> bands. That's so fucking cute. It's like a proxy. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> No, but like uh, when it comes to like switching platforms, I, when I saw like I think the last person was like Sukuno or whatever yeah. that did it, like he's the last guy to mm -hmm. switch to YouTube. The day he did that, I was like, man, I kind of wish I was home. I'd love to do like a really cinematic joke and upload it to, like to Daily Motion just as a <laughs> joke, like not advertise it, not do shit, just upload like I switch platforms to Daily Motion. I used to watch porn like, on fucking Daily Super. Motion. <laughs> I want, dude. I, I watch like so many TV shows. True. Like that's Tom why Curry's I love Daily Motion. Daily like, Motion. I've watched like all of Scrubs or whatever. The, the only copyright place that works like, so YouTube has to like follow all these safe harbor things but it's like oh man dude I hate to be fucking YouTube because like Twitch doesn't have to do it it's like shit you want to watch like the Avengers come on in brother fuck just just uh just go to that just chatting section and you got it all Bro, for you can you imagine if the we fine got you bros covered. would just copyright all Twitch reaction content too now that would be something it would <laughs> well, like, how, that, how much, that's a good how idea. Much are, well, like, well, Ryan. So, like, I your videos, I assume, get played a fuck ton on Twitch streams, right? Like, yeah. probably do, like, you probably like, you're coming up. You are, you have like a bated breath there. Okay, Expl explain it. Does it actually benefit you, like, when somebody reacts to you like that and just doesn't, like, they just watch your whole thing on camera, like, on stream? That's uh, it. no, it doesn't benefit me at all. I don't think. Well, actually, maybe uh, if it's someone like critical or something, that's like. You know, got a huge audience and stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm sure some of those people might come over, but there are so many streams of people like watching my stuff now. It's like, man, I, I don't know if those are like potential thousands of views that are being lost or what, but I don't. If anything, it just feels like more pressure on me because I'm like, fuck. All right, this is gonna be played on streams and stuff with like live reactions of people. I got to make sure this is good, you know. And I don't know, but but uh, I don't know, man. I, I kind of want to just like start just playing my own shit on my own stream and having people just watch it. it it's kind of fucking right. like meta, but whatever. I don't care. You, you know what I do when I was doing those like crypto investigations what? and shit? Because I knew those going to be <laughs> played on stream. I just started and making... And you reacting to this I, right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I literally, yeah, I would do like, I would do shit like that and I would just like throw in so many like butt fucking jokes in it too where I'm like, oh, if I'm going to get demonetized for shit, so are you <laughs> asshole. Let's fucking go. Upload this to your, upload this to your fucking YouTube channel in its Dude, entirety. Let's see, see how it fucking does now, motherfucker. Did you see Asmigold's YouTube channel? It's evolved. It used to be like gameplay and stuff now we'll upload like five videos Johnny a day Depp. and they're all like hour-long reactions to just the <laughs> biggest videos uploaded to youtube that day and he'll just that's what i yeah, so they can will, like really? game theory will release a video about twitch streamers he'll just watch the game theory video and then plop that 40 minute reaction onto his channel and like, wait a minute yeah so that's like so they can make money through twitch by doing that because I mean, even, I'm just let's just say they're watching TV shows, right, or a movie like Avengers. Uh, they can monetize yeah, that yeah. still. On Twitch, like they can act, yeah, they can actually get tips. What the fuck? What it am I doing? Sucks. Yeah, dude. Dude, I'm I'm done. I'm done with YouTube. <laughs> well, I quit. No, I quit. Fuck this. Well, well, here's how it works, right? Here's how it works. You go on Twitch. You watch the whole fucking video. You know, you smoke, smoke a fat <laughs> little cigar on the way there, right? You're getting fucking your sub yeah. train. You're getting your fucking bits. You're Ice. getting your little, you know, you get tights, You're getting like, you know. The, the 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 Twitch Prime mm -hmm. shit that's coming into your asshole, you okay. know. Oh Fuck my it. god! And then this once is you're crazier done, than I thought. You go he to... uploaded twelve videos two days ago in one day. Dude, Jesus he Christ. also gets seventy one million views a month. Yeah, because dude, because he goal? uploads twelve videos a day, yeah. where he'll just sit there and react to everything on the platform. And his and then wait, his get... RPM. He's a genius. His RPM is probably like fifteen dollars because his videos are an hour long. Yeah. He's oh a genius. my god. Yeah, so you're, genius, you're not yeah. only making Twitch money, but you're also making the YouTube money of your reactions from Twitch of the videos from YouTube that you're watching. What the fuck? Oh my god. Yeah, bro. Dude, I'm done. Yeah, here, and like there's no editing or anything. Yeah. Like, it's pretty or, crazy. Yeah, it's just pretty much... Wow. Here's like lost... Well, what, what do you think the editor has to be paid? It's like, all right, monkey, fucking... <laughs> Whoa! Take this OBS recording. Holy shit, bro. What? Well, take the OBS recording. All right, fucking go into Premiere, click on the Blade tool, start, stop, 
Hey, is there any points where the waveform is completely flat? <laughs> Cut Dude, that out. I, slap, slap, we literally slap, have an AI export. working for our for for uh, the fucking uh, for our premiere that anytime in like certain audio tracks where there's like more than a second and a half, it cuts it down and all the other fades it to like make the Dude, rough mm-hmm. cut. Yeah, I, I have that really on quick. Audacity when I used to not have a VTuber guy. I mean, the 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 thing with the Asmongold stuff, and I watched this new one, like Lost Ark, the bot problem, right? So <laughs> the thing about it is, is you go into the video. One of the things that I always find kind of like weird about it is the, uh, is the whole like, um stealing of like the titles like metadata yeah. you know what i mean like we all know how the yeah. algorithm works right like let's say somebody makes an amazing video like fucking you made um what's the last like nexpo video that you made right like what's the title lake, lake city quiet pills. pills lake city quiet pills so imagine if i was like lake city quiet pills reacting to an internet mystery so i took every single word in your yep. fucking title dominated the search ranking so now i'm beating you at your own game and I'm just using your fucking content to win the entire thing. Now, in Asmongold's defense here, when you watch his reaction videos, there is a lot of moments True. where he does pause. Mm-hmm. He does I was, I was going to mention that. With it's it's not like he's commentary. just sitting there. He, he really yeah. does yeah. interact with the audience yeah. and, and the video he's watching. Right. Yeah. So there is, like, a level of it. But, like, at the same time, it if I was the average viewer... All right, like the average viewer watching this content, I'd have no reason to like jump to a next book. Like, why the fuck would I click on Ryan's channel? Why the fuck would I go there and watch his video when I've already watched See, like, your right. video? Asmongold, you know what I mean? Like, he, I've watched it all. When Elden Ring was like really big, he watched every Elden Ring analysis and Elden Ring review, and El- like he watched all that on stream, all the big ones, and then he'll upload his reactions mm-hmm. to those yeah. big Elden Ring videos, right? If you're a fan of Asmongold, you've already seen all of YouTube's Elden Ring content, and you don't need to watch any of those creators. Man, yeah. there was yeah. some discourse uh, a few years ago about the dynamic between like Reddit uh, story writers, like creepy story writers, yeah. creepy bosses, and YouTubers, and like be, like finding a middle ground of like what is what's the the balance between just like taking content and making something out of it with like you know it, it feels kind of like a similar dynamic with this going on yeah and pre that it was like games and like let's players like, yeah are you just get like a True. rad brad yes. and stuff yeah it just i mean it always happens i feel like it's the same thing generally i feel like is the same logic that justifies torrenting and pirating movies mm-hmm. it's like the people who are torrenting and pirating it were never gonna buy it or watch yeah. it if they weren't able to torrent or pirate pirate it and like as a whole i feel like it's just your standard 20 20 80 rule right where it's like 20 percent you're kind of entitled to that, and then the 80% just doesn't give a fuck, and then it inc- included in the 80% is, like, all the reaction channels that are stealing your shit, etc. Yeah. So I feel like you were just never going to get that audience in general. Maybe you were, but generally, you're probably not, and that's just kind of the way that all things work, you know, when there's, like, a, a natural succession. Like, you're watching stuff, interacting with stuff. There's, like, an algorithm. Everything works kind of the same, I feel like. Yeah, that makes but, sense. Yeah. I don't know. Helps me sleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how we do? We just like lie to ourselves yeah. a little bit. <laughs> uh, no, I, I don't know when this like Twitch reaction stuff will kind of end though. Personally, like I think it's, I, I think it's going to be around for like the long foreseeable future. Like the thing is, it's like it used to be when you went on Twitch, like you watched a creator or, or like just in general where it's like oh they were like really good at a game and it still happens right like you know you still have the speed runners that are like oddly good at what they do you all jump and watch them you still have like you know germos out there fucking making some yeah. wild shit every year you have like a lot of creators that are are there doing what they do but i feel like in general what's get what gets pushed to me every time i go on to twitch tv and i and i trust me i've done this on like the um incognito mode shit where i was like maybe it's just like me watching certain people and the whole like cookies in my browser are like leading me down a path no it just straight pushes you it's like hey just watch watch reaction watch it because i feel like in a lot of cases for twitch it's beneficial like if you have somebody watching two hour long videos right is somebody on the stream that's going to be like the longest retention you've ever seen from like a viewer they're like it's literally been proven right like fucking streamers can like put on an entire video and their viewer counts will grow you know instead of like shave off over time right like if you start a stream you'll have like 20k viewers right and then like towards the end of the stream it'll start tapering off chat will get slower right like as the hours pass but when you have like a youtube video playing they're consistently constantly okay, engaging so i just time. opened twitch so like the streamer um, has to fucking be there the big, so just chatting is the biggest thing right now 
Um, and mm-hmm. Counter Strike yeah. is in the middle of like a big tournament, <laughs> and it's still like. Well, one one of the things I want to ask Ryan is like, are you excited for VidCon this year, dude? Are you excited to go? Dude, I don't know about that, bro. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wait, where is it? We're both. It's in Los Angeles. Oh. We're there in six weeks anyway, oh. so I have to ask him about it. Dude. Well, okay, guys, you don't have to be so fucking disgusted. I get that we're not the fucking Pauls and we can, like, hide money and create a uh, fucking security <laughs> problem at VidCon, but yes. god damn. No, okay, I am excited. Jesus. I'm excited. I'm, going to VidCon. I'm super excited. I'm not excited to go to... I'm not, I'm not going to the fucking convention. This shit sounds boring as fuck. I'm gonna get wasted all Dude, are we gonna party, though? Wait, oh my god, dude, if we have another homeless story, if I see another dude's balls this time in Los Angeles, dude, I'm so telling that story. What it's happened again? Y'all pulled up and this guy was just sitting outside or... Washing his just, ass. Yeah. Just, just washing oh, his fucking ass. I didn't see that. Can I, can I just... Can I, just, I feel like I was there now. Right? <laughs> The, I bring it can up I, every can time. I the scariest the fucking thing. Go ahead. Shrug. Like, no, oh. I, I gotta. I, I gotta. No, let me, let me tell you guys something too. Like, this is the scariest thing. I don't know if Ryan ever told this, but can I just? Can I tell you guys? This? Imagine waking up at like three in the morning. Okay, your phone's going off. You pick up your phone. You've got fucking Ryan. You've got Jason <laughs> Wang. You've got like Mama Max. And they're they're at a cartel bar. I'm not a cartel warehouse bar at three in the morning. No, four in the Dude, morning. That was an experience. Drunk. That was a hell of an experience. Imagine? Just what getting the there was, was like an adventure you, with so with like, Justin Wang. I will say that was something. <laughs> they, I. I wake up in the middle of the night and they send me photos. It's like so. It's like it's like a fucking empty ass Costco warehouse, and it's just these guys getting drunk. It's not like I'm looking around. I'm like, where the fuck is this party in the background? Wait, it's just you guys. So I'm like sitting there. I'm like, oh man, should I like drive there? Because these guys are gonna get their organs harvested, and I didn't. And you guys came back at like when six in the morning. Yeah, like I was late. just like, oh man. This is so fucking uns. You guys came back in the morning. You're like, fuck yeah. it. We're just gonna come back when the sun is up. Get out of here. I would not have gone to that. So honest. I was, I was That's trusting I said, Justin's like... judgment. Honestly, like, like we were just following him. We're like, all right, you lead the way. And uh, yeah, it was. When we pulled up. It was. I thought it was cool, but I didn't know what it was. You know, so you know we were there partying and stuff. You know, till like 5 a.m. Came back. And then ordered Jack in the Box, and the Jack in the Box didn't get delivered to the right house. But we passed out before that anyway. But it was, yeah, it was a crazy experience. Wait, wait, wait. So you come back and fly with? Did you dude, order me, Jack dude, in the Jorge Box? Jorge ordered too? like fifty tacos and like shit ton of fries, and apparently, it, like, ended up on the neighbor's doorstep or something. It was crazy, but. You should have just fucking went out there and grabbed them. That was your order. They did the same thing to me, too. Like, the fucking Uber Eats lady came to the other place. I'm like, that's my order. She's like, no, sir. Let me call. Let me call Uber and talk to them so I can make sure you're not a homeless man stealing food. I'm like, all right, lady. It's a fucking, it's a, it's a, it's some fries and a drink. Calm down there. We don't have to get the fucking NSA involved over this shit, but all right, cool. We'll get to the bottom of this. I guess it must happen, though. Yeah, they, they were, they were doing it. But, um... I was supposed to meet you that weekend too, nice, but yeah. you, you caught me when I was too wasted in the morning. I was we there. I was doing the uh, Anthony Padilla interview at the same time as VidCon was going on. Which? What day? Uh, I, I Anthony just... Padilla does like these interviews with YouTubers and whoever. And oh, I think the, day, like, oh the God, day in the life? Guys... Yeah, yeah, so it was uh, yeah. spent a day with Nuxtaku, poor guy. Yeah. Uh, and uh, <laughs> we overlapped, but it didn't work out. Yeah, it was like uh, the Anthony Padilla. It's like I spent 24 hours with John Wayne Gacy's victims or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. That's that's the stuff. I like that one. I, I always like his. I always like his videos too. Like there was one where like it, it kind of blew me away. Like one of them was like the the one that really like interested me was the one with like dissociative identity disorder. So like DID. Because he spent like 24 hours okay, with people right. who like, kept says switching spending 24 like, hours with people, I would know, okay? It wasn't, tw- it wasn't 24 hours, but it does make the title. <laughs> was it more uh, like 24 minutes? Uh, how long's the video? Uh, was, <laughs> that's how long it was. I think it was, it was about a two-hour interview. It got cut down to like a half-an-hour video. Um, but what impressed me, first of okay. Dude, the production value is insane, okay? I'm sitting here on, like, a plastic fold-up table, okay? Like, <laughs> my computer is... It, that's my whole setup. It's just a computer mm-hmm. and a microphone. This dude, he has, like, lights. He has people yeah. working there. He, It's, it's crazy. Well, it's interesting because, like, a lot of those channels, they have, like, 
fucking full on production teams. You know, we yeah. were just talking about like trademarks and everything. It's like how do they make like, money? Honest, okay, dude, he had that's like four sponsors yeah. in each uh. video. He's like, this video is sponsored by. You yeah, know, but Nux, that doesn't answer the, that, that sometimes Dude. that's not the whole thing, because remember BuzzFeed, how they fell? They did the same thing, except they just had, like, so much of a fucking, they had so much of a, you know, spending, like, they were just spending overhead. more than they ever generated. So, yeah, exactly. They had more overhead than the revenue. So sometimes they didn't even paint the whole picture, right? Like, you could have four sponsors, but remember, he's also in California, so, like, everything's just jacked up the ass out there. We'll sponsor him. Yep. Sour Boys will. I'll give him a bag of candy. <laughs> Let's do it. Bro, you sponsor him, I'll get you in his apartment for a day if you want, in his house. I don't know. If that's, is that like a sex thing or? I mean, I've seen his It basement. could be. Uh, is it, it roomy? I don't know. It, it's creepy. We you don't got basements in town. You know, you know those bathtubs in the middle of the room where there's like a lot of space around the bathtub? Those always scare me. Like I have a phobia of like lonely bathtub i have a yeah big lonely bathtub too i got, took a cold <laughs> bath yesterday oh good for you bro it was horrible this is a after the organ bath? harvesting yeah yeah <laughs> no but like fucking oh, i lost my i lost my does it kind of freak you out by the way that like when you filmed with him in person like he had a whole like fucking 4k video file on yeah. his desktop with your like <laughs> face little, exposed i guess so he could have like gone gone all that just exposed me i mean would you have done the same interview if it was like say with keemstar you know like fucking you okay. sit in <laughs> Chrome alert studios and like he okay, had a you... video file okay if i would i'd have to like watch my back every time i tweet for the rest of my life because he'd have files on top of files to swing at me one day you know? <laughs> I was gonna ask like how he like, fucking pulled that it... off but i'm, I'm watching yeah. it back now makes Okay, so he covered your face the whole time. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So what actually happened was um, he recorded the whole thing, and um, then he had it edited, and I then re-recorded my what I said that made it to the video, and he with uh, okay. my YouTuber guy, and he placed the model over my face. Wow. Look, but that that was like told us like if you motherfucking leak <laughs> this MP4 file anywhere on the planet, I will fucking <laughs> find and hunt you down, motherfucker. <laughs> I will, yeah, no, I will I, bury you with the fucking remains of Smosh right fucking now. <laughs> if you got it. Yikes, dude. He, he's so nice, though. Like, he, he gave is. me limited edition, like, Smosh comic books, like, that were, that are out of print and, like, all these cool things. And uh, he also told me different YouTubers that he doesn't like, which I'm not going to mention on the podcast, which was, it's really cool to hear from his perspective, because he's, he's like an OG. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. Literally, maybe the OG, like. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Smosh was the biggest channel on YouTube. Yep. Like, that always wilded me, man, with Smosh, because growing up with, I think, I mean, I used to watch the fuck out of every single video they uploaded for a period of time, same. like, back in the day. Um, and, like, I mean, it's kind of like a YouTube cultural institution, right? Like, I think everybody of, like, our age that are in the YouTube game, we know of them, we've seen them, and now it's kind of like, man, you watch Smosh now, and it's just, it is a shell. It's like a corporate fucking shell of whatever that originally was. And of course, we all know the history of like you know Smosh to Five Media and like you know how the fucking yeah. But what's so weird is right screwed. now Smosh is owned by Rhett and Link. I don't know if you knew that. I did. Yeah. Um, I saw the downfall but... of Smosh. I know. <laughs> oh, okay. hell yeah, bro. So um, it was so funny. Like I sang the one of one of the old Smosh songs like on the podcast. He asked if I watched his videos or something, and I sang the Assassin's Creed song that he did. And he's like, "Yo, I don't know if you could sing that. I might get copyrighted by Rhett and Link." I was like, "What?" <laughs> No, you're gonna get copyrighted from a song that you made and you say that's crazy i remember Copyright the only so thing weird. about Rhett and link that i knew at the time and i'm glad i never did it was like so this is like years ago like fucking i want to say like 2014 ish you know like before any of us ever knew of each other's existence right like Back in the day when YouTube had their fucking predatory multi-channel networks, you know, like, oh, yeah, guys, join MCN. an MCN. Ugh. This one MCN fucking hits me up. It's the same MCN that I think now does, like, McJuggernuggets and, like, all these people, like, um... It's, it's just Story like all under an umbrella. Oh, no, Jesus. not Dumpster <laughs> Fire. Not Dumpster <laughs> Fire. Story oh, Fire man, MCN? That's it. Um, no, I'm... I, Okay, you know what? A whole fucking tonal shift to the topic right now. You just fucking injected <laughs> some my graph. You, no, 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 no. Now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna fucking roast this goddamn trash fire. Hold on a sec. So, anyway, since MCN hits me up and they're like trying to like fluff me, like, don't you want to join the same platform that Rhett and Link are on? I'm like, dude. I don't trust MCN's worth of shit, but I almost signed with it, which would have been one of the worst fucking decisions ever. Because I remember when I got like the whole contract, it was just like, it was literally like, hey, how do we fuck you the hardest? And you have, like, no, like it was, like, kind of signing away, like, your entire fucking brand and getting, like, a pittance out of it. I'm like, no, no, no. I'll, 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 t I'll take the YouTube demonetizations and ass fucking, okay? I think it's a lot more 
I, I, I'd rather prefer Susan fucking me in the ass directly than Susan fucking you in the ass and then you fucking me in the ass in some weird human centipede <laughs> way. But on Storyfire, I don't know if y'all have an account there, by the I way. Do. Don't. Do you I have do. An I do. Keemstar made me an account and verified it. it was have funny. you been uploading to Storyfire? <laughs> I have not. <laughs> okay. I'm still waiting for it to catch on, you know? Yeah. Well, it's I'm, getting there, bro. Yeah, well, that, that's one fire that'll never rage. Smoke, smoke of the bear doesn't Dude. have to carve that. <laughs> We're going to meet up at VidCon. We're going to do some planning, bro. That, 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 that might be a forest fire that's like fucking trying to rage in Alaska or something. Ryan, have you been tapped into, have you uploaded your story fire exclusives? Uh, so I started there? working on it like two years ago. I'm still not done. It's going to be the greatest thing I've ever made. So it's it's still in progress. Mm -hmm. I'm right. looking at an ETA. And you're, you're going to release it yeah, to an audience the ETA of 20. about 2024-ish. You know, around the same time uh, the Batman 2 comes out. Be around, around then. So. Dude, uploading a story <laughs> fire is like those uh, YouTubers with like second private Twitter accounts. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Well, well, so like, I, so here's my thing with story fire, right? Like, okay, I, I was a, I, I followed Mick Jugger and I think like most people did like years ago, right? Like when that whole Psycho series was going on, and I think like most of YouTube was tapped into watching every single one of those daily uploads until like Psycho Kid kills father, where like he just fucking has the fucking gun at his dad. I'm like. Huh. Now, what was wild to me is, like, there was a bunch of kids in those comments that were like, oh my god, is this real? How is Jesse... I'm like, okay, first, no, no, kid, kid, stop. It was entertaining. It was like watching fucking reality television, right? Like, we all, we all hate to say reality TV sucks, but it draws an engagement, whatever. Now, when he released a Storyfire app, right, at first, for those of you who don't know, it was like one of those apps where, like, you type in... Like, you, you just, you create, like, stories, okay? Like, you just collaboratively make them. And then it became, like, a video platform and whatnot. Now, for anybody who knows anything about video hosting, it's very difficult to do. If you're in the video hosting business, you are losing money every year, okay? For any site as large as YouTube or Twitch or really any platform, your best bet is breaking even. You know, you might hear like YouTube made five billion in a year, right? That's not five billion dollars in profit anywhere close to it, obviously. A lot of that is YouTube has data centers all over the world. They cost a fuck ton to maintain. If YouTube did not have the financial like backing of Alphabet and Google directly, they wouldn't function, you know? That's how that's how most of these sites function. They operate on a loss, but they're great because they're amazing to push advertising, gather data, like YouTube as a tool for uh, an AI company like Google, right? Like to gather thousands of hours of content, you know, from multiple different languages to understand human patterns, human behaviors, all of it. Absolutely fucking useful tool. That's why it's still around. That's why it's still active. Now, if you're to make your own style of video website, you have to understand that you're spending, you're basically throwing money into a fucking hole, right? Now, initially when Storyfire was made, I thought McJuggernuggets was going to build up an audience of millions of users and then sell that to like, you know, like sell your brand to like some fucking big VC company and make like, you know, your millions of dollars. Never fucking happened. And then you look into the actual videos, right? And so do you guys know where the videos were hosted? Do you guys know how the hosting happened? Vimeo? Yeah, he had like a Vimeo backing. He had like no. some Vimeo corporate He's account. Vimeo? Uh-huh. That's the back end for, for Storyfire. Whoa. Now, if, if there's anything you know about Vimeo, is people who are in the podcasting game who upload their clips to Vimeo, right? And I think uh, I think it was Chad from The Cold Ones, I think you talked about this, um... Basically, if you upload to Vimeo and you're getting like even a fraction, like if you're getting like a fraction of your YouTube viewing, right? Like let's say fucking I think like 10,000 people watch, Vimeo will slap a fucking six-figure bill on you per month. They will just slap money onto you. So basically, let's say a video went viral, right? Let's say like what's what Ryan? What's like your most viral video in the last month? Two million views? Yeah, two million views. Yeah. Okay, so two million views, right? Two million views on Vimeo's corporate account would fucking that would be like a bill that would be like the hundreds of thousands. Like you would actually be financially fucking destitute if your video took off on Storyfire. Like you would actually bankrupt Storyfire if they got the viewership that YouTube was getting. You know, like. That's Damn. how Yo, bad that it got. That would be hilarious, though. Yeah, like, like <laughs> this, this is the off. thing. So when they, video when so they started... viral, it destroys Storyfire? Dude, that's literally, a hell of a like, YouTube if... title, bro. I destroyed yeah, Storyfire. Like, <laughs> like, if you literally, if, if right now we all made a concerted effort where it's like, hey, guys, let's just push this one video on Storyfire for a week, right? And, like, jack it up to a million views. You could keep doing that every month. And within the month, 
like sorry you could do that every week of the month and within that same month the whole site would have to go down because the bill would be so high that you just you can't you'd have to fucking start taking out loans and second mortgages to fucking pay for it which is not happening so that was one of the big problems with Storyfire, obviously right and the thing is they started to implement this blaze currency which the payouts never came like nobody ever from what i understand got properly paid out like if i go to my account right here i'm just sitting on like a fuck ton of blaze and shit haven't really seen anything haven't really gotten shit out of it don't really care much for it the other big thing is when they when he sold it off as like that nft shit right how much did he sell it off does anybody remember how much the exact amount for Storyfire was like some dude bought it like a the, the deck chair great i just looked at my the ceo for the site may 2nd just fucking tipped me like 500 fucking blaze literally the ceo deck chair this guy paid like 15 grand or some shit like 20 grand for for story fire and got away with it that's so sad <laughs> i was about to buy story fire i was about to buy story fire i literally had like i was about to go buy this shit for like 40 50 thousand dollars you know i was like oh maybe i could like get the platform run it you know kind of like keep it as a meme like run the platform see if it can grow up it would be kind of cool that was until fucking like nerd idiot hit me up and we had a talk like we opened up fucking pandora's box and we're like oh Oh no, this is shit. <laughs> this ain't worth fifty dollars. Ooh, push that away. Yeah, and that was pretty much it. But yeah, that was that was my thing with Storyfire. It was like one of those platforms where like just complete mismanagement, complete like I was going into this shit as a meme. All right, like, if it was a serious, honest business venture, I'd have to be on so many drugs that you would have to fucking like literally pin me down and like force rehab onto me. That's how bad this whole situation got into. So yeah, fuck Storyfire dumpster fire rather yeah story fire is is interesting and their whole like back end and stuff and how they how they ran it uh but that also like reminds me so odyssey is kind of like a i guess a newer thing what do you think about that because i remember you were i i made an account recently and i saw you're on there um they kind of run their stuff like attached to youtube system i noticed where you can just like sync your content over there which is a little different no yeah so the thing that i so the reason i went to odyssey is like i just kind of use it as like an auto archive for videos yeah because the way that they do it is like if you just link your youtube channel like it just downloads your youtube video and just like stores it ah, i will okay. say you just reminded me of it so i like clicked onto it and i just realized i had like 20k followers on the platform without even knowing that <laughs> so apparently there is like actual growth in the platform yeah. or something i mean story fire like sorry not story fuck <laughs> it, but fucking odyssey is like <laughs> But no, Odyssey is like a, Odyssey is like one of those like crypto based like blockchain based like video platforms. Um, they've been around for a while. They've been under the name Library, Li Lib Library Library, whatever the hell it was. So they've been there. I know the CEO like fucking as soon as like because I got tapped by the the marketing teams on it, and they were just like, "We'll just give you crypto." I'm like, I don't really care about the crypto. I just care about the, the auto backup feature. Like, I'm not here to make money off of the Odyssey platform or something. Um, but like most platforms, hopefully it goes somewhere it like, hopefully it doesn't become one of those platforms where like, you know, all the people that get banned from YouTube, Twitter with oh, like fringe shit yeah. and they start taking over like other platforms. Like, I don't know if you, you guys know about this planet, uh, platform like BitChute, right? Yeah. So like, if you ever went on like BitChute and just seen the front page and you're like, Oh fuck, I'm glad I'm not on this fucking site. Cause, uh, you go onto BitChute and it's just literally like, here, I'll read you some of the titles right now. Here, here it is. <clears throat> oh God. This is where World War Three could be breaking oh, out. Oh, oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Mafia Vatican Freemasonry secrets you should not know. That's one. <laughs> the MG Toe Red Pill is the best one. All right, so you can you can imagine. The more I scroll down, the more I get Mouse down. Full compilation, 4K. <laughs> yeah, right. Far four wasn't a bad like. That's where we're getting into, right? Like it's it's that's the whole platform, like global warming not real science is bad like you're getting into like this territory and it's like these sites would be successful if they didn't cater to the extreme fringes that get banned right left or right on either side because there's a reason those motherfuckers get banned off a main street platform i think it's actually quite difficult to get banned on main street platform and that's coming from like somebody in our podcast group that you caleb you said how many strikes did you have at some point like on youtube or whatever uh at once that hadn't expired yeah like at once the most i've ever had at once is no. two i've had two also but like at times yeah and and, and like the thing is it's like can you can, like i don't think it's that like easy to get banned on youtube right like as long as you play I mean, within like the tos banned, you can be you could get banned 
But if you there, – there's no reason for you to get banned if you're just doing your thing. Right. But, like, when you go onto, like, Twitter and shit and people get their account fucking removed and, like, YouTube removed, it's, like, how much of it is, like, you're getting censored and how much of it is, like, you just fucked up and, like, did something, like, dumb, you know? And then there's like, some you, cases you, where like, I feel crazy. bad for people that get banned, like, Monkey Jones. Mm-hmm. Like, he got banned because he – his comedy was kind of dark. Like – Right. That's just it. He, he had – he kept making jokes about the – The uh, school shooter guy. That guy. Yeah, the YouTuber guy, right? Yeah. Which guy? Yeah, the guy who was it. Elliot I forget what his Roger name is. Or yeah. Uh, Elliot Rogers, oh yeah. Oh, we can't even say that word. Oh, yeah. Clip yeah. oh, that. Clip that. that. <laughs> <laughs> no, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get out of that one. No, that's it. There's like a few key words on YouTube where you'll get absolutely removed. Like I was in Vegas, and there's a few things about Vegas you can't talk about on YouTube. I think most yeah, of the people yeah, in the chat we've, will know we've that. Been this. So, we've gone down know, this rabbit hole. There's a, there, yeah, there's there's a couple rabbit holes you just don't fucking touch. There's a, there's a couple like fucking you know crazy crazy like parts of YouTube that you just don't fucking stick your dick in. Okay? Yeah, like cupcakes. That's that's how it works. <laughs> yeah. So gross. Yeah, you, it's oh, so funny because but... YouTube has, like, there are some words or phrases or whatever that are generally looked at as bad things. But then there's, like, the holy mm-hmm. grail of stuff that will get you nuked. You know? Like, the Vegas yeah. th- incident. Or, yeah, yeah, there are a yeah. couple of those that, like, YouTube's really, there's really a, careful. There's a, couple, there's a couple things that'll just trigger the Ooh. fuck out of it. And I think a lot of it is just, there was a period where, um, for a month, I was, like, kind of like just debunking a lot of these crazy like fucking horror trends on youtube right like you remember back when they had a uh, momo or whatever the fuck it is that fucking <laughs> blue yeah. whale game and shit like that oh, yeah, yeah sure yeah so yeah i was i was like i was like making videos about it. i was literally it was just like debunking i'm like guys chill out this is like the actual it's a mexican dude who's like dressed up like mickey mouse not that big of a deal they would just look at the like title for the video and like age restrict it like hit me up and it got to a point where like even the discussion of YouTube, they're like, oh, it's just so fucking, the AI goes, like, ape shit. Like, there was one video, um, it was just, like, four digits. I forget the exact, like, numbers. Oh, but 1444? Yeah, like, you could upload just those, like, four characters in any moment in your title or yeah. description. Videos auto you deleted off the platform, gone. Like, it doesn't even allow the upload, it's just deleted. Like, that's how strict they gotten on YouTube. Like, you can't upload anything. Like, even, like, remotely, like, on that, like, fucked up side. Even if you're trying to debunk it, right? Like, even if you're trying to, like, just, you know, cover it in, like, some sort of, like, a deep horror rabbit hole. Which makes covering horror content tough. Like, obviously, Ryan, you make this kind of content. You understand, like, YouTube demonetizations are one thing. But, like, I assume you probably get age-restricted like a motherfucker, though. Especially with disturbing things. Like, you have to be getting fucking... Yeah. So... The thing about like uh, age restrictions on my channel is it's retroactive, where like I'll upload something and it'll be fine, manually reviewed, monetized, and stuff. And then a month later, I'll go back and see like, oh, like two or three videos got age restricted. I didn't even know, and it just it happens. And uh, yeah, it's kind of annoying. Same thing with demonetization, but yeah, it fucking sucks. But the thing I was gonna say is like. Dude, like we had that conversation about like the uh, if you go on YouTube, like the homepage on like a fresh browser and you look up conspiracies, it's all like mainstream outlets and then Shane Dawson. Like that you will not find a single like independent creator with conspiracy and theory in the title Wendigoon, besides like, Shane. At this point, like honestly, yeah. I guess well, that, that remember, is a good point. Wendigoon. Remember how fucked we found the YouTube algorithm in Los Angeles last year? When we went yeah. out, like, so, oh. okay, so this story, oh. this story is fucking wild, okay, so, oh, God. um, I, I, so we, we, we go to this Airbnb, right, like, so we rented out, like, a mansion over there, and they had this, like, one TV, and, you know, people are just watching YouTube on the television. Now, obviously, um, nobody signs in, but it probably has, like, a cache of, like, what people were generally watching, right, like, just in, inside the cookies or whatever on the site. So, we go onto YouTube. And we jump into it. And what's the first, like, channels we start getting recommended by? Like, Sniper fucking... Wolf. Dude, it's like, my, it's like Minecraft roleplay, and then it just goes downhill from there. Like, it was... We, end, we ended up like, finding, like, one YouTube. Parent vlogs that were really period fucking period weird. My boyfriend. Yeah. No, not even period. Yeah. So, so, like, it, yeah. it got to, like... On my daughter. Oh, yo, it was yeah, weird. Yeah. There was that trend. I forgot that. Uh, yeah. No, no. So, there, there was this one guy we found, like, Jordan Matter, or whatever the fuck it was. Oh, yeah. And, like, so his thumbnails were really fucking wild, right? Like, it was just, like, 
these like people stretching and making like poses and like the thumbnail would oh, be yeah. like 12 years yeah. old 12 year old like 14 18 i was like what the and then like so we were like what the fuck so we opened the video up and they're these are like pushed by youtube like we're talking each video is like like his worst performing video is like 15 fucking million views you know like when he gets 15 million views on a video he's like oh god damn dude it's 10 out of 10 <laughs> for me shit why can't everything be a 1 billion view banger so we watched this video and like i don't think we could finish it because it was the most disturbing thing in the world it was just 10 minutes of like 12 year olds following doing just yoga. like it's weird yeah following 12 year olds doing yoga uh. taking photos of them and like so there was one point where like YouTube shut down the comment sections for his channel and every other channel because what would happen in the comment section is like all these fucking Weirdo. like to be like yeah like they'd be like wow this is hey if you guys check this photo at like fucking two fifteen fucking awesome hey guys uh, here's my number here's my kick group like like YouTube was like oh, oh shut down the Follow comments it's a little you. too fucking <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! They, they, were, they were doing the hey, like hey, go to this tweet real quick, and then that's where they fucking like <laughs> offloaded people. But yeah, it was, and then it was his channel. And it was like a bunch of others, and but we didn't even like Google this, right? Like it just it was like the autoplay because it was like oh, we're watching. Yeah, it, it started from like I know exactly what it started because these assholes were singing dreams like music yeah. the whole fucking time we landed. So they were just listening to dreams. That was because of me. We had, like, dream, like, that's what the point of the mask is, and it just auto-played. It auto-played until we got to this <laughs> point. And we were like, the thing is... about Jordan Matters, though, is, like, I'm just going to, you know, call him out real quick. Like, the thing is, in his in his videos, he plays it off like he's just, uh, just, he's just a good dad photographer, and, and he's just filming vlogs with his daughters. But the thing is, he will, like, they'll be, like, getting coffee, and he'll tell his daughter... Oh yeah, that, that's great. That's great, sweetie. Kick your leg up real quick, and then like they'll be at the pool. Like, <laughs> did he, did he hey, yeah, to... yeah. K kick your leg up. Do your, do your little leg kick underwater real quick. Oh, that's so yeah, great. Yeah, and like it shows weird. the picture. He it's knows, just, dude. Like he knows. Oh my that god. People are looking at his thumbnails and clicking on his videos, not because they want to see how good of a dad yeah. he is. And, yeah. and that's the kind of shit. Like, here's the thing: we all get demonetized on some of the dumbest shit in the world. Like. I'm pretty sure the demonetization king here would be Oompy with the way that he fucking, like, some, cause I, when you watch like your videos, Oompy, it's like, you, you try to like censor the least you can, right? Like you're like, what can mm -hmm. I get away with? What can I do? And that I have happens. zero videos on my channel demonetized. So, so really? um, Oompy Not has a single a one. He oh my God. No, demonetized I swear to God. He no, I, I just don't get him demonetized. There's like, there's a lot of things that I do that just, I haven't had like a video I haven't had a video demonetized and posted it in like years for one. And then uh -huh. uh, uh, a couple years ago, I deleted all my old demonetized videos, but do you think, do you think I haven't helped? had a video. Wow. What's that? Do you think that helped you? Like just getting rid of all your old? Like... Um, I, I feel like it definitely helped my CPM and RPM, but definitely didn't help. I don't think it helped anything. The only thing that's helped recently with my videos to do better is just increasing AVD. That's the only thing that's helped. Okay. And Nox, I assume, with the amount of hentai uh, rule thirty four uh, shit that you're doing, yeah, yeah, I, I get plenty demonetized. <laughs> well, I haven't had, a, I, well, I haven't had a demonetization in like eight Damn. months. The only one, and that was because I self demonetized awesome. it myself. Because um, sometimes when I cover, well, like I, when YouTube introduced that like self check thing, I was like, oh, now we can just be honest. It's like if you're, as long as you're honest to it, like. Yeah, I covered some fucked up serial killer shit today. Demonetize me. You two will be like, no, no, it's cool. It's cool. Jeffrey Dahmer's hip with the kids these days. We'll just fucking, <laughs> we'll, we'll green that shit up for you, baby. Don't worry. Within the hour sometimes, I'm like, okay, cool. But yeah, with like Jordan Matter, I'm like, do you even think like these videos are like monetized yes. even? Because now that I think about it, I'm like, I don't know. <sighs> Were his videos like sponsored at all, or was it just? All right, I just How clicked on their latest video sponsored? and I got an ad. Okay, so yes, they're monetized. And so I'm, you're not, I'm have... not signed. Wait, in. but YouTube can monetize. So... YouTube can still can... monetize stuff like that, even if it's demonetized. Yeah. But we can't really yeah. tell. Yeah, sometimes you can't tell if like something's ad ridden or something. Sometimes they'll just like. Okay. So I I think it was Art that kind of told us this. I don't want to speak here because he might be away. But like I think it was like fucking if you're demonetized, I think sometimes you can just have like a label. And like, just claim the fucking video <laughs> and still monetize it that Ew. way. You know what I mean? Like, that's so smart. You could have like, <gasps> oh my god. Yeah, you could have like, you could have like, you could like put a music track in, like your own music track, and just claim the fucking video through a label you made on the YouTube copyright system, and bam, you've you like auto monetized every single fucking video, regardless of demonetization. Oh that's genius. Holy shit. 
That is genius. I mean, that, that, that is genius, and I'm sure YouTube would catch on to it. I'm sure YouTube would fucking nuke you off the platform if you were caught doing that. Go for Please. it. Yes. Do you want me to jump in here and explain the scheme? Yeah, so uh, the ticket is uh, you basically, uh, whenever anything gets claimed on YouTube, the, the person who claims it gets 100% of the revenue, but if you have a music track or something of your own and you put in the content ID system yourself, uh, you could claim the video as well, and then the monetization gets split 50-50 between the person who claimed it and yourself. So basically, you could sit there and use whatever content you want in a video, and if you're okay with just getting half the money, Damn, uh, the other person can claim, it, can claim it yourself. And, uh, There's one in networks that do that. That's crazy. You could like wow. straight up like re-upload the Avengers with your music track in it and claim your own video, okay? <laughs> You'd probably no, get DMCA. No, Marvel, Marvel will take 50%. Not no, just like, I'm on so it. Marvel's going to take 50% of the revenue because it's the Avengers. And then you get 50% of the revenue because you freaking put Twitch hentai in the song section and it's done. Yeah. It's not like... Yeah, you just have an end title. It has to be over five seconds, I believe, to claim it. But at the end of every video, you just put like a, a 10 second long it's song. So Isn't that what like screen? fucking Pokemon Damn. Damn. Like, videos Pokemon that has a company that like copyright claims any video of her on YouTube or some well, shit? Yeah, that's the interesting thing with a lot of the Twitch streamers is they'll sit there and react to other people's content all day long. But then they content ID claim anyone that uses their hey, We love Twitch streamers uh, on this podcast. What are you talking you know. about? <laughs> we do, we do. We, we also have called about. We, we have to. I mean, to be fair, the they get content YouTubers. reacting to our videos, and we get content making fun of them reacting to our videos. So I think it's fair. <laughs> it's like a fucking shitty feedback loop. Jesus Christ. Then they react to that. So... Rinse like and repeat. Human, it's a human centipede of just pure shit reaction to each other. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, but you know what? It is what it is. Like, I, I feel like in a perfect world, all right, like every time you make a banger video, there's nothing more humbling and nothing more fun than watching it being reacted True. by a bunch of Twitch streamers. It's like, I, I think in a lot of ways, it's like, you know, the video succeeded, right? Like it's being watched, it's being loved. And part of me is like, maybe it's because like our channels have grown to the point where it's like, we can, we can grow ourselves naturally. But like, I just like seeing other people like, watch the video that we put hours into you so know? i personally i don't think that my channel grows money. from being reacted to but i do like it whenever it happens like i like getting reacted yeah to. it's like it is cool i i will say I, I do like that too like it's cool to to see uh people ripping it apart i like that I so think it's Ryan, awesome what's uh what's the next big investigation after the lake city quiet pills bro i uh I, dude i'm I, I, I launching a second this, channel whoa. bro and uh so Yo, yeah, so I'm doing some like game analysis dope. stuff on top of my content. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm doing like horror games, like obscure horror games and stuff. So talking about those, uh, I got a video coming out about that. And then um, they're diving into some lost media. You guys like some disturbing lost media? Yeah. Huh? I do. And then we'll be checking out. Media. Have you ever heard of Piper Gate yeah, also? Piper Gate? Piper Gate? Yes, I have. Dude, it's like this old man. Yeah, digging into that after this video. So. That's kind of like what my schedule is looking like right now. But, dude, Pipergate is something else, man. Like, oh, God. It's like an old man who, like, would – he would, like, role play as, like, a little girl. Uh, and he was, like, obsessed with Amanda Bynes. And he would, like, insert – he, like, deep fake uh, this little girl's no, no. face into Amanda up. Bynes. You already fucked up. Did I fuck up? It's Piper, that, that, that it's, was... it's Piper Bynes, not Amanda Bynes. <laughs> Piper Bynes. Piper Bynes, excuse I, me. I looked up, I looked but... up my Piper Gates investigation notes. I'm like, hold on a minute. You can't fuck up the name here. Dude, Buddha, we got to dig into that later. It, we do. It's a th it's only a thousand like, subs that you can find it, but it is really, really yeah. fucking creepy because the way I found it, so the way that I find any creepy shit that like – I cover is always on like 4chan like i'm always on like x and i find like super creepy shit on x all the time yeah x made like a whole doc about the the guy yeah so anyway this old man like would deep fake uh this little girl's face onto um amanda show videos and he would like role play in his comments as like in like a little girl right um 4chan caught wind of it they made a whole document about this guy and then the guy dies like he just passes away and the channel is still there and all of his weird shit still there like it's crazy you look up piper binds you can find all of it yeah it's like it's, a graveyard uh, it's 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 a it's a fucked situation the problem with covering all that kind of stuff on the internet man is just like 
it's already been there on YouTube for years, and then you make a video on it, yeah. and you're the one that gets fucking striked and fucking hit yeah. down by YouTube. It's like, wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. We know that this has been on there for like fucking since 2018, but how dare you fucking talk about it now? <laughs> Dude, I was going to say though, you know Nick Crowley? Yeah. You ever heard of Nick Crowley? Mm-hmm. Okay, so he covered, he's another creator. Uh, he does like mystery videos too, but he covered, um, who was that one guy who would sing on camera, the old man who would sing oh. on camera and he turned oh. out to be a pedo? I, uh, I know who you're talking about. I, I forget what like, his name is. PewDiePie okay, so. That guy? I don't know if it was that far back. It's kind of recent. Um, anyway, Nick covered him in a video, and soon after Nick covered him, he died. And then Nick made the Piper Ooh. Pipergate video, and then soon after Nick oh made that video, God. the guy died. So I was like, I was like, oh no, dude, dude. Nick, don't ever cover me, bro. No, dude, <laughs> I have a list of people Nick should be like cursed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hit joke. <laughs> You know, but, uh, yeah, the document that you were talking about that X made, this guy had, uh, like, seven-ish channels. Don't worry, all of them are gone. Like, all of them are basically fucking removed. Damn. There's so many archived? people involved into it. Not even archived, but some of it gets Damn. really, really fucking illegal, like, f- covering it for sure. It's Jesus definitely Christ. You definitely have to go, like, the feds involved in it in some capacity. Yeah. Because uh, it's, it's not, it, it's... That's the, that's the thing about these dark rabbit holes, and the reason why I stopped covering, like, some of the pedo shit, too, is, like... It's never really going to end. And also, like, you get to a point where it's just, it gets way too, like, the last time we did it was, like, that Club Penguin, like, server. And, like, immediately when, like, that was covered, it was like, hey, Disney's like, oh, shit, wow, there's, like, pedophiles using Club Penguin to fucking molest kids. Whoa, hey, legal team, go after them, fucking nuke them out of orbit. But it's just, like, you cover people, the stories get so fucking dark in that moment, obviously because of subject matter. But also it's, like, the law enforcement side of it pisses me off so much because even when you do the right thing and you're involved 100% of the way with the law enforcement teams, right? 100% of the way with YouTube and everything, no one barely gets anything done. Like law enforcement is always like, we're going to launch a thorough investigation. And then you follow up with them like week after week after week. And it's like, yeah, it's kind of in the back burner. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, I literally did your job for you. We all just did your job cataloging and sending it over. What the fuck else do you need? You know, like... I don't know. It gets, it gets into a problem. Covering it gets into a situation where, like, once you expose somebody like that, they just start running away, covering their tracks, disappearing. So it's like one of those situations where it's like, damned if you will, damned if you don't. You know, it's like it doesn't matter if, like, you did anything or you didn't. It's like this guy just still gets away with it and the fucking legal system doesn't do shit. Like that Lion Maker guy, right? Like, we all know, like, how fucked Lion Maker is. You know, he comes back to YouTube, like, every other month. What? Like, he just comes back under, really? like, a new fucking... Yeah, it... Lion Maker, like... I and I, John. I'm always there supporting. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. No! That was a joke. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> that was a I joke. thought you were more but of like, a mini-led But, guy. like... But, like, he, he, yeah, he has, like... Yeah, I was about like, to say. <laughs> that, Do I look more like a mini-led <laughs> type guy yeah, versus bro, a Lion Maker type fellow? Definitely go. What is it? Is I stand Lion Maker. Is Mini Lad still even like up no, here? Like, is he still like, even he, on like the platform? Shows up yeah. yeah. What's what's the uh, what's the co- oh oh no I understand what's going on. So I just opened a Mini Lad's channel, and he's got like a video right where it's like forty eight thousand views, and there's only eighty comments. I I think I'm beginning to understand what's going on in the channel. Oh. Some people some people some people pl- like. You know where you click on a video with like 70,000 views, 137 comments, you're like, this is more police than fucking China right now, like, fuck, fuck writing yeah. Tiananmen Square. I think he like straight up blacklisted the, I remember like, the top, go ahead, go ahead, the, the top comment is it's only been five months since I watched you, damn, you've been working out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like a, uh, like a chosen comment. Yeah, that's, that, seems, that seems like a little pin style deal to me. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> well, well, it used to be like you go into his channel. So here's the thing with the fuck. Here's the thing with the mini lab shit, right? Like YouTube will remove anybody from the platform if they're caught doing like really obscene shit. He straight up went on Twitter and it's like, yeah, I, I yeah, I fucked up. Like he 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 admitted to the crime, right? Like yeah. on, twi- on Twitter, like he straight up he didn't even like hide it. He's like, yeah, no, I, I did some fucked up shit. And then, like, obviously, of course, his channel is going to be filled with Mini Lad likes the Mini ah, Lads. You know, like, dude, what the that fuck? Name is already like, oh, how do you come up with that? Like, God damn, bro. I don't know. That's a bad name. Yeah, that's a bad name. <laughs> and my, my channel's named fucking Oompaville, so. Awesome. That's horrible, dude. 
Oompa Bill is good. It's not good. No, it's not. It's it, terrible. It, it reminds me of Willy Wonka. So same. I, like I was going to say the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. I came up with it when I was and, nine years old. Oh, come on. Nine. Dude, so, that, 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 that is a good... Get, get the fuck over yourself, okay? Hey, Oompa Bill at Earthlink.net. Okay. What's my email? Oh, God. You don't you don't need a good name to succeed on YouTube. Memories. Like Penguin Z Zero is like the best channel on the platform, right? <laughs> like Charlie's awesome, um, but Mini Lad really, like, that's just so bad. Yeah, Mini Lad's pretty bad, I guess. That... Mini Lad likes the Mini. Lad. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's like walking into it. People must have been making these jokes for years. <laughs> that's like. Obvious. It's like the signs were all. Why does he? There, why does he do that? <laughs> <laughs> Pedo gaming sixty nine. You ever, you ever see that like one joke? Okay, like every time there were people like Keemstar was like exposing the Minecraft YouTubers, and there's there's always this one comment that fucking kills me, because like somebody's like, hey, listen, I know we hate this guy, but listen. If I was playing Minecraft 16 hours a day, I'd fucking get every once in a while. Like, it was just fucking, no! Oh, no what the no. fuck? No. It was like, it was like no. every time, like, and the whole implication is like, so anybody that plays, like, a fuck ton of these kid games, like, nonstop, you know what I mean? Like, they're just such a fucking kid-like character. It's like, huh, there's, there's no way an adult can enjoy this. Like, a normal, hell. like, look, I love Minecraft every once in a while, but you'll never catch me going, hey, boys, hide and seek episode 33. Let's find my <laughs> Well, bro, if you made twenty million dollars on every upload, I think you could suck it up and play hiding, hiding ghosts. How much? How much cocaine do you think these people are doing before they film a video? Be honest. Oh. How much coke? They use code SOG for sure. They're, bro, they're, they're fucking they're ripping open these tubs and fucking doing <laughs> lines and rails. What the fuck? Absolutely. I don't know. Like. It was like the FNAF content. Remember where, like, Five Nights at Freddy's was out? Like, you had literal adults going up and fucking being actual, like, extremely excited for the fucking one game. Five Nights at Freddy's. Like, when's the last time you made a FNAF, like, video, Oompy? Uh, 2014. Did you, like, did you, like, scream into the entire, uh, did you scream into the whole, like, microphone and, like, you actually get scared? I, I was actually scared the first time you're I played not, it. You were not scared. Dude, I was, I was. It was 2014, man. I was, it was, it was, I was 18 years old. I was a little he boy. He was basically you played, right You played the, the Nico Kato build. <laughs> yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah for see, sure. Uh, Elon Musk tweeted his Elden Ring build. It was like what? Yeah, he responded to a tweet with like, "Well, my Elden Ring build was an intelligent strength build." Like, and he went on this whole thing. That was so cute. God damn, dude, Elon Musk, man, fucking that dude is just—he's my god. It's it's so go, wild. Dude. Like he's, he's like, so red pilled, bro. Dude, I remember I on the H three podcast agree. where they said the only good billionaire is Elon Musk. My my my. How things have How changed. How times have changed. <laughs> have changed. <laughs> oh, well, God. Elon Musk proves to me that Iron Man and Batman can't exist. And we've talked about this before, True. but there's no way. There's no, like, we have one of the richest dudes in the world. $44 billion could have made the Batsuit. Could have made the Batmobile. Could have made all the Bat fucking tech, right? Let's be, let's agree. $44 but billion Twitter could have done is that. way funnier. He buys Twitter, exactly. He, like, wakes up and is like, I'm just going to buy Twitter. You know, Did you see I he would said build that, Iron uh, Man suit. If he dies an unexpected death, he'll give Twitter to Mr. Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast gets it, yeah. yeah. You think he'll own it? You think he'll actually, like, honor that shit? Well, I think Mr. Beast will just knock him off. <laughs> Just, right. <laughs> well did you see like what he said the other day he's like if i die guys let it be known that i like he's like f he did that whole like jesse smollett yeah. shit where he was like i'm not planning to i don't want to die if i die i'm like fuck off Elon. <laughs> nothing's gonna happen dude smoke some weed ever since he had that one blunt with joe rogan yeah. fucking the timeline shifted like he had one blunt alternate reality activated yep, exactly he, like lives in a completely different thing I don't know. Elon to me is like I, I hate how like you either have to love the guy or hate the guy. Like I just look at him like every other fucking billionaire, you know. Except he's a little younger and he likes he likes memeing. But personally, I can't relate to the guy because if I was him, I wouldn't spend forty four billion dollars on fucking Twitter. I'd be building Iron Man suits, you know. I'd be doing fucking even wilder shit. I wouldn't be doing that with forty four billion. What the fuck am I getting out of buying Twitter for forty four billion? It makes no sense. I don't know. Yeah. SpaceX, SpaceX is pretty SpaceX cool. SpaceX is pretty cool. I guess we'll see. I like SpaceX a we'll lot. See. Yeah. I'm excited. But Teslas, I might buy me a Tesla, but I it would I would I wouldn't be able to drive very far and then there's no superchargers where I live, so I'd be kind of fucked. Dude, 
We could build us. We could. We could. We Yo, could build maybe the cult down the road can install some superchargers <laughs> for you. Just yep. <laughs> I just had solar panels installed. I'm gonna get a so I'm gonna get a supercharger installed and just park my park my uh, car out in the Texas well, like, heat. Well, like, it, how, it how far are you? Well, like, okay, so like, how far are you again from like Dallas? Because you can make it. Seventy five miles. Oh, dude, you could make it. What the fuck? So that's quite a you drive. Could make it just fine. Yeah, we lost Muda. Well, uh. It's like an hour and 45 minutes to Dallas. Oh, that is long. You could make it. You know how many times I have to charge mine before I get to New York City, which is like six, seven hours away? But I don't want to drive to Dallas, Texas to go charge my car. <laughs> but if you have like a... No, but here's the thing. If you, you you have like an electrician that can install like a fucking... All you need is an appliance plug. Yeah. Plug, yeah. And yeah. it'll like do it for you. Just get like an appliance plug, call it a day. Maybe. Or get, I, a, I did... or get a Bronco. Actually commit I already to the have Bronco. One. Wait, the new one? Yeah, I, I thought one. you sold it. No, no, they offered me money for it. I didn't accept it. Oh, I'm actually so jealous. That was so cute. It, it's not that cool. <laughs> you can come drive it if you ever come visit. You can you can see drive. how not cool it is. Why are you unhyping the car that I've been <laughs> hyping myself for a fucking year, you ass? <laughs> it's all right. It's, it's all right. So but cool. does it have it warp so speed though? Like no. No, but it is quite fast. Dude, I put a new exhaust on it. Dude, I went to see my parents yesterday. You know what the fuck my mom and dad were watching on Amazon no, Prime? No, no they chance. Were, they Moonfall. Were That's not Moonfall. No way. Moonfall, bro. Dude, I, I like, I like, I went to visit them. I'm like, hey, mom, dad, what's up? And on the TV, I look at Michael Pena, and he walks out in this blizzard in in a Lexus. I didn't know it was Moonfall. I look look at the Lexus real quick. I'm like, I'm like, dad, give me the remote. Give me the remote. Give me the remote. I look at the remote. Pause the movie. I'm like, no fucking wow. way. It's fucking. <laughs> oh my. Moon God. Wait, how is it already on what? Prime? It was just released. I don't know. It was just released. I don't know. It was in theaters three oh weeks my ago. God. Dude, they, they like, warped I, it straight to streaming services because like, no one wanted to watch. No, their like, movie. I, I, I come home and I'm just like fucking, I, I, like, I, I give my dad like a present I bought him from like Vegas, and it's just like, what the fuck? Why is it? Why is Michael Pena? I'm like, what do you? Wait, Le the Lexus fucking threw me off because the moment I saw the Lexus in this, I was like, there's no fucking way you're watching Moonfall. He was watching fucking Ryan. Have you seen Moonfall? Uh, you're muted. Oh you're wait, muted. can't. Oh, can't he's hear you. muted. You're muted, buddy. Oh, that might be why we weren't responding to you if you were talking. It's those AirPods, man. Fucking nope. Apple no, Nothing. <laughs> Yo, make some cool faces. Yeah, dude. Mime it to us. Lip give sync. us a thumbnail face. Give us a thumbnail face. He's gonna give us a Twitch reaction face. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> That's the best yeah, one, dude. The, one. the two hands. I'm doing it too, I swear. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. It's like, it's, like, it's like when something terrible happens, it's like... When something exciting happens, when you're like intrigued, you ever... when you're uh, when you're when you're trying not to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> do you do you ever do that thing? And people are like, when you record a video, like after you're done your daily upload, I do it too. Like you fucking have the whole minute of like just on camera where you're like doing thumbnail faces, like. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I have a, I have like pre, I do like a pre-recorded one where I just set up my lights and stuff, and then I have like a just a video where I just take faces from. That's dope. Oh, no, see, I, I, I do that at the end of each. Yeah, video. we can't yeah, we hear you now. We can't. Yeah, so. Uh, oh, he switched hey. to like the Mac. Yo, so I have, I have a MacBook, and it's like hooked up to a monitor, and I was on AirPods, and yeah, my audio has just been all completely fucked. But, all right. But hey, that's just yeah, another you... internet mystery. It's just a mystery. So, I, I thought you were gonna go game theory on me. I thought, you know, the I thought you were gonna go game theory on me next because I know more about MatPat. I'm from sorry, you than I, it's an unhealthy channel. addiction. But by the way, in his newest video, he actually admitted that he watched porn. <laughs> no fucking yep, way! I mean, what wait, a lying Matt, piece of I shit! Post, I, someone sent it to me on Twitter. Uh, he was watching like he was theorizing about Toad, and he was like. I looked up mushroom sexes oh, and I accidentally geez. saw mushroom porn, and I was like, "Oh, well." <laughs> All right, let me Google. Exposed. Let me Google what mushroom porn yeah, yeah, looks yeah, yeah, like. Go look that up. <laughs> mushroom porn. Oh, that's actually it's a whole fucking category. What Bro, the, the hell? The internet's impressive like this. Oh, it's just okay. That's gross. That's really fucking gross. Oh, ugh. yeah. Okay, so Matt Pat looked he at did. porn. This is and big that, news. Now you can, to me, like, now okay. you can frame that. This is like something that 
I wanted to hear for a long time. Guys, we all knew he did, okay? I don't care if he sues us for slander. Like, he, oh my god, I just realized. Who's the top third creator on Storyfire, Not guys? Not my pet. No! Guys. Guys, hold on. Let me let me oh share this. Oh my god. I, I'm so fucking, I'm so proud of what we've achieved together. Look at this. Just, just, Yo, just look. Yo, no way, dude. Bro. Congrats, just, bro. Just Hell look at yeah. That. What the fuck? What's my last episode? It's been... <laughs> that's all it oh my god i didn't even know that what the fuck dude i just shit on the platform that i literally am the ray william johnson on what the fuck bro you are the that xqc of story up. fire <laughs> you're the juicer bro, bro maybe the local you juicer. get you to like make this whole cinematic trailer of leaving story fire <laughs> you think i can... <laughs> I found a new home I just, for my re-uploads. I light a, I light a car on fire in the background. I'm like, <laughs> let's go. The YouTube car fucking crashed, boys. Story fires it. Story fires it. It's the new. It's the next big thing. Get your tickets. I feel like I feel like I feel like it's going. I feel like it's going to be the next big thing. It's gonna blow up for I sure. Well, Ryan, we uh we we fucking. I feel like it's time for us to like tune out because we were like an hour and a half in, which is where we get to. Ryan, if there's any advice you want to give to up and coming horror creators, what is it? And what is the what what is what is what is the thing you want to prep them for? It can be anything. You can give them inspiring words or prep them for the anal fucking that is the YouTube, you know, guidelines right now. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say prepare to get fucked by the YouTube uh monetization. <laughs> That's just gonna happen. So I love how I love how honest and upfront and smile. You know, it used to be like two years ago we were like, oh, dejected. Now we're just so used to it. It's like whatever. Yeah, okay. it's, it's just a fact of life now. I feel like we're all that dog in the meme drinking a cup. Like this is fine with the fire in the background. All of us are just living that. On yes. YouTube. Listen, guys. As much shit as we'd ever give YouTube or Twitch, we could have been we could have been popular on Daily Motion or Story Fire. Okay. Dude, if I could Sorry. go back, bro, that'd be my platform, man. Story Fire. Yep. You could just start all over. I want you. I want. I want one of us to make a viral video on Storyfire. So then our next video on YouTube would be like how I destroyed an entire platform <laughs> with one banger. Yo, you're the third oh biggest God. content creator. This is your. This is your moment. The number one is McJuggernuggets. Do you think? Oh my! You know what? I I think by the end, I think my 2022 goal is being a bigger creator than the creator of the actual platform. I mean, to be fair, we're all bigger all right, than Susan Wojcicki, okay? So, if it's any consolation, <laughs> oh, yeah. she gets like four yeah. likes on her tweets. And they're probably her alt. Get dunked on, Susan. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for her. She gets her... You know, you know, like... Why, bro? I, I do feel bad for her. She's like... Why? I don't Who even... Cares? I don't think she gets, like, YouTube. She, like, uploads a fucking Thanksgiving video and, like, Christmas and talks about, like, NFTs. On... Dude, I feel like she has no connection to YouTube. She's just like, ah, I upload a video. It's like, it's like my mom being the CEO for the website, okay? Like, I just feel bad for her. True, I guess, yeah. <laughs> like, if, if my poor mom got on YouTube every day to post some dumbass shit and she kept getting ratioed in the comments i feel bad for her like what the yeah fuck? of course <laughs> like she's on twitter True, that's a good point she's like tweeting out like hey guys we have this interesting new project on youtube and the entire comment section is like l plus ratio plus things for the i feel bad she seems wholesome you know she's not like she actually I does seem wholesome. Like, i don't think she's vindictive at all yeah like i don't think she has like I, I don't think I don't I don't think there's like a conspiracy theory like the whole like Ethan Klein and call up Susan to remove it you know what I mean like a video I feel like I feel like she's like really detached from YouTube like every time like I I, I don't know if she knows the amount of like dumbass shit that goes on you know like if we showed her fucking 3 a.m. channels she'd be like oh golly I thought people were just uploading cat videos on the site what's What's, what are these Ouija boards and dead So for people? me, what I think the, 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 like, the Ethan Klein, Susan Wojcicki thing is hilarious because it's like, you know, there's that whole meme about like Jews controlling the media and stuff and Ethan's Jewish and Susan's Jewish and it's like, hey, hey by the way, by the way, we're, we're not, we're not spreading that. I'm That's just the saying, actual Jewish funny. person it in the call funny. talking okay. about I am it. He Jewish. is Jewish, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is my privilege. Yeah. <laughs> He's the one with the heebie-jeebies, yeah, not us. So. See, that's what generations of persecution gets you. <laughs> You're loud. <laughs> You're Hell loud yeah. Too.
Unfortunately, no, I don't I, have Susan's I, I don't number. Know, like, I'm not privy. I don't think anybody really has Susan's number. She's like, listen, guys, she's like a fucking billionaire CEO that's far away from anybody. Like, I think the last video Susan might have actually watched on YouTube was probably like a fucking short with like some animal. Or that's all it is. Like, she's right. YouTube Rewind 2018. You think she takes that personally? You think like you think she's the one that uploads and makes it? You think like they have this whole thing in the office at YouTube, and like you know how like fucking it's the nuclear switch? They like have the right, whole three, yeah. two. Like one. she has like she like clicks public. She's like, are we ready to make the best video? They're gonna love this. <laughs> yeah, she thinks they're gonna love it. She hits publish, and they're like, Susan, don't don't click on the comments. They have to like, they have to like kill, they have to like reduce the window a little bit so they have to hide the like this like. It's like no, no, no. Oh it's golly, good. they're <laughs> clicking the red button instead of the green one. They have to remove the color red. It's like no, 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 no. It's a, it's a bug. It's a bug. It's not. They love it. They Will Smith fucking Bro, killed color it. Colorblind people. Colorblind people wouldn't understand. So we're removing the dislike bar. What if she's a troll and she just likes watching the fucking world burn though? What if that? What if that's? That would be dope. I mean, I'd do. I'd do the same if I was a YouTube CEO. But ladies and gentlemen, sure. we are not the YouTube CEOs. We are in fact a group yes. of degenerates. Next bo excluded. Ladies and gentlemen, if you all like what you saw, <laughs> please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. And make sure to check out our guest, Nexpo, at uh, and sub. YouTube.com. Sub to me. Yeah. yeah. Sub and sub watch his him. videos before you watch the reactions. God damn it! Don't fucking sub, boys. Just go watch. Sub, you go watch Nuke's top 15s if you want some disturbing things on the internet. What the fuck? Anyways, also check out my co-host Upaville and Nux Taku. And if you really want bottom of the barrel shit content, there's always my channel too. That being said, this is so sad. <laughs> okay, uh, Umpi. We can't let him do the outros anymore. This is not okay. Why? <laughs> what the fuck? Well, you guys fucking take charge on it. Fucking hide. You do all the right, outro. Right. I'm in charge right. of outros, yeah. okay? I just like it to end. All right, you do it. You do You do the outro. Right. Nux, Taku, King, Rule 3. Come on. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Check out Umpi and Muda Heart. They're both absolute mad lads. Next bow, he's here that was too. Good. We like him. Have a good one, and guys and gals. And bye. sub. Well, okay. Yeah. Then, we should then all I guess, synchronize. Then I guess I'll fucking. At the same then time I guess I'll do, do coke every time sub. I do the fucking outro. Then and just speed through it. Fine. <laughs> all right. Summon, summoning salt, the fucking extra god. I guess. <laughs>